Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit something different. Um, so in no way am I a professional at hair or, you know, just extensions, anything in general, just no. I don't know nothing about it. I had to learn on how to put my extensions on my own. So obviously today I'm going to be talking about extensions and I have the Zala, Zala? Zala hair extensions and I, they are 100% human Remy hair. So I did get the thickest weft um, from their website and I have the hair right here. So to start off, I do have my hair already straightened just because I have short hair and it is cut into a bob. So I, you know, keep it straight every single time I do my hair extensions. It did take me a while to learn how to do them and how to get them, you know, like adjusted it to the way I like it to make it look like it's my hair and not look kind of crazy so I do have the hair right here and I already curled the hair also um, just because I feel like that's the only way it'll look like my hair and it doesn't look funky so this is the hair right here and she looks really nice she's shiny um, but yeah so this is with i believe this is nine comes in nine clips i believe the only issue that i did have with this is that when i received it and took them all out i know you can't return them after you've cut the ribbon or whatever but i know once i've received it the only issue that i had with it was that one of the clips um actually didn't clip but in the box itself it does come with two extra clips so i did end up taking it out and sewing it back onto the weft okay so i'm going to be showing you guys how i you know make it look like it's my hair so i do start off with straight hair but i will go back in with a curler depend mostly right here in this front side just because i feel like it does look you know like i can tell where i should be using the curls as far as the back side my hair isn't that long so whenever i do insert the clips then um it'll just look like the curls are in the bottom just because my hair is short and my hair has been growing i don't know if you guys have seen my previous videos i did have blonde hair for a while i loved it i loved it loved it loved it but it's just trying to get it to the correct color well not the correct to the color that i wanted it i feel like it just damaged my hair a lot and i had to cut it super short and i didn't like the cut at all i hated it i hated it i hated it but you know my hair is growing so at this point i really don't mind i'm kind of glad that i sorry i'm kind of glad that i just went back to my normal black hair and then cut it i don't really do anything to my hair anymore just because i want it to grow and i kind of just don't want to put heat on it or anything it's rare that i actually do my hair every now and then like honestly it's rare that i even get ready every now and then just because i do work from home okay so the way that i do it i use two very thin scrunchies and i have four um clips hair clips i did used to use bobby pins but i feel like the clips actually held on to my hair better like it just it just worked a lot better well the first thing what i'm going to go ahead and do so i have my mirror right here so don't mind me if i just keep looking over here so the first thing i'm going to do is just grab like this much of hair and kind of like going up just a little bit to where I get enough hair right here. Right here. So since I do have really, really thick hair, um, I do like getting most of my hair from under here just because I feel like it looks a lot better um, with the Zala um, hair clips. Just because they're, yes, I got the thickest wefts the thickest extensions that they have but i feel like it's not thick enough for me so this is just how you know how it just works for me you don't have to follow my steps at all i promise you you don't but this is just what works for me like i said 
So I do go ahead and grab this much of hair. I don't know if you guys can tell. Sometimes I even grab a little bit more. Um, okay, so I am gonna go ahead and tie this um, so that way it's not in the way. I don't know if you guys, but I am gonna look funny, obviously. Okay. So then what I do next is with these, I do keep um, the side of, a little bit of the side of my hair just to make sure it goes back with everything that I'm pulling. So this is, doesn't have to be perfect either because trust me, I don't make it perfect. I don't make it look perfect at all. What I do here is split this in the middle and split it in the middle. And make sure it's tight also so there's like no loose little hairs. Go to the other side. This is where the clips come in and I do use two on each of the little ponytails that I have. I look funny as hell okay so now that i have that so i do start off with one of the three clipped wefts and i kind of just leave kind of run my fingers through it before um i do clip it in and yeah so i do start off with the three piece one first and see what I mean? I don't know, because I've tried straightening them also. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like, see how here I didn't curl it? Like, right here. Like, you can still kind of see through it. So to me, that's not really... I feel like... I'm not going to say ripped off. But, like, how can I put this? I did pay for the thickest um, extensions that they had, and to me, it's just not that thick if that makes sense so that's why you know i do what i do with my hair just to kind of make it blend in a little bit more um but yeah i mean they're not bad like honestly they're not bad honestly i'm gonna be honest with you i used afterpay for these extensions just because i didn't want to go out and splurge like 300 dollars on something and then me not like this extension and then me having to return it and go through all that process and then uh, it's just a lot of mess i'd rather just pay for a little bit of it and then if i don't like it, i can just return it and then you know i didn't spend all that money i did hear that bellamy had extensions but like i like really good extensions but like i said it was my first time actually purchasing purchasing extensions so i didn't want to just splurge out that much and then me not end up liking them i don't know just my thought. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the extension and then I do apply it a little above right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I do kind of stretch it, the extensions while I apply it. So then once you have one of the clips in, then you're going to go ahead and let a little bit of your hair down and then continue going from there. Guys, I'm getting fat. Do you see that? Anyways, yeah, just keep on watching.
Okay. So now that that's done, see what I mean? Like, it looks, it looks like all one length. Like, so far. <laughs> so far. Okay. So then, once I finish that side, I know some people tease their hair, but I'm just, I'm lazy. Let's be real, I'm lazy. I don't, I don't want to tease. I don't have time to do all that. See what I mean by, um, like I still have short hair right here, and then this is still my, um, this is my short hair, and this is my, the long hair extensions. So... I've seen, like, even on the box, it shows, like, a specific way to, like, put them on, but it just doesn't work for me. So, see how I put one of the five whiffs, whiffs um, one of the five ones? I put one right here, one of the long ones, and then right here, like, if you can see in the video, that I don't put them right under each other. My two clip, and then, I don't know what happened here. So I just go ahead and grab one of my two clips and go right under right here and then put the rest to the side. And then just clip it. I do like clipping it a little bit closer to my temple just because I feel like since I do have short hair, it just looks a lot better. And then move it to the side and see how it like covers it. Like you can't, I don't know, maybe it's just me but I can't tell. And then And then I grab a one piece clip. A one piece clip. And then I just grab it. Like, kind of just. Just a little bit. And then move it to the side. And then I do like putting the one piece clip um, a lot closer. Um, to the front also mm. See like I don't know if you guys can tell the difference between Like see how my hair just looks Together like it looks like it's one and I haven't even curled this part yet. So just wait and then then see how this part it just it just don't look right. So let me go ahead and do this side, and then I'll go ahead and start showing you guys how I kind of make it seem like all my hair. Okay, so now that is done, they're all in. So now what I like to do since my hair is straight, I do like going I do like going in with my curler. I just look and see what parts I need to what parts I want to curl out. Okay. So I do flip that back. If it even goes back with the um, extension. And then I do, let me see, okay, so as far as this part, I do like to just keep it straight, and then this part right here is the part that I'm going to end up curling. So just grab it, and then... Just let that cool off a little bit. Just 
so I don't touch that just yet I'm just gonna let it um, cool down just a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab this section and curl it as well so some pieces I do grab and I do start curling it with the extension So the only thing with this, it is time consuming, um, the whole curling, the extension, clipping them in, making sure the back of your hair isn't seen, it's just a process honestly. Um, so I rarely like do it, but now that, you know, I did get the hang of it to make sure it looks like my hair. I do do it occasionally, but it just depends. Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to do it in the summer because it's hot. And I think I'm okay with my hair being as short as it is. I am enjoying my hair since it is growing and it's not, you know, super short. So I do go ahead and run my fingers through it. Okay, so see how this one, you can definitely see it over everything. I do go ahead and just put it a little bit lower, or even back if you want to, and then just go in and hiding it. And see how these, oh, these pieces right here are coming out and you can tell that they're super straight. What I do is go like this and just do a loop i don't make a big ass curl with it uh, of course my battery would be running low and then it'll hide it right here like see like it just looks like one like it doesn't look like oh your hair stop extensions so I'm gonna see this side if you need any curling and I do see here that I do so then I just curl this part and if you are looking to get some extensions you know really do your research on them because it is a good amount of money but if like 400 or 300 and like up is nothing to you then you know go do it but mm -mm, not i so i do do my research on it, everything but yeah it's nice it's nice silky hair and yeah it's like you know you just really have to work with your hair make sure that everything looks like one because you don't want to be out here looking stupid i do like how it's a nice loose wave also and i would recommend the zala hair extensions if you don't have really really thick hair like i said i'm not a professional so you don't you know don't take my advice if you don't want to so that is the final look you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it and if you guys you know end up deciding to buy extensions because you guys miss the long hair because I know I do you know do it hair always makes me feel better like long hair always makes me feel better like it makes me feel like me the old me all right guys thank you so much for watching stay safe out here and you know just enjoy the rest of your day and yeah have a good one